not many people realize that the, the, the state of Maryland was uh, formed primarily as a refuge and a haven for Catholics who were fleeing religious persecution in Europe. That sounds good, right? That sounds like the American story. It sounds like the pilgrims. But when they came here, particularly to the state of Maryland, the Catholic Church was one of the largest slaveholders in the United States of America. It had plantations uh, that were uh, controlled and run by uh, Jesuits priests. You can look at it. And there's a book that was written recently. The title of the book is 272. And it's about the fact that Georgetown, which is a Catholic university, when it found itself in financial trouble, so 272 slaves t to a slave owner down in Louisiana. So we simply don't know all of the history that goes into uh, how uh, slavery was so successful. One of those inputs was the moral cover that the church, now the Protestant church also provided moral cover uh, in different ways, but the Catholic Church benefited financially directly as a result of the institution of slavery. And so that is the reason why the Catholic Church owes a debt and, and should pay reparations to black people in America. What do you think?